What's up, my people? What's up, my people? It's January 15th, 2023 in Big Bear Lake, California and surrounding areas up here in the Big Bear Valley. Um, just real quick, let me say what up to Breaking Bad. What's up, Breaking Bad? How you doing? Um, <laughs> you guys rock, man. Thank you, Breaking Bad, for being such a good friend on this channel. Um, all of you guys are tremendous. So I just want to start off with that stuff first. And uh, for one video, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it out loud. For the first time ever, I want you guys to hit subscribe and the like button. And I promise you, I'm not going to ask ever again. I don't think, probably not. But, um, you know, maybe we could do something with this channel, you guys. Who knows? So um, I'm not one who hits like or subscribe on any channels I watch. So I... I know and I would understand if you guys don't, but in eight years, I've never asked. I'm, I'm just hoping for this one video, you guys can do this for me, please. Pretty please, pretty please with a cherry on top. So anyway, it is 33 degrees. We are getting a steady snow. Here is what is going on according to my phone. So we've got a bunch of snow coming in here, a bunch more snow. Let's, let's take a look at the radar. Let's get back to the road until the radar populates so I don't bore you guys with just that screen. So we're going to zoom in a little bit. That is us, that blue arrow, and I'm going to hit the play button so we can see. Look at that, guys. It's just a consistent flow coming through. And the times that this is coming through is all night long. All night long. All night. All night long. Okay, so I was going to take the boulevard, you guys, of Broken Dreams here, but I think we're going to end up taking a, I don't know, I don't know, we, we might cut across, we might do something, we're going to get over to the village, and depending on how much traffic there is, we'll, we'll, we'll go a lot further down there, but I'm assuming traffic's going to be a nightmare. And look what it says for the next 48 hours, folks, 14 inches possible, so keep your fingers crossed. Keep your fingers crossed, man. Okay? It's okay, man. I told him. I never lie here. All right, sorry, that's my Scarface impression. I never lie here. One of my favorite movies of all time. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of traffic on Big Bear Boulevard, guys. A lot of traffic, my friend. So, let's take a look how the snow is going to be day by day. So right here, tonight, let's see, 8 to 12 inches, guys. Yee -hee -hee -hee! I'm excited to see that. And then tomorrow during the day, 1 to 3, and then 3 to 5 at night. Oh my gosh, that could be good. And then boom, nothing for gosh knows how long. But we're not even supposed to get out of the 20s on Tuesday. So a lot of you coming up here, the day after it snows, I think you're going to be blessed with still just about as much snow as we had from the storm because we're not going to see it. From this point on, this is the highest temperature we're going to see until Tuesday or to, uh, until Wednesday, actually. So a lot of the snow is still going to be here, guys, pretty much all of it. And I'm really excited to be able to tell you guys that because I want you guys to come up here and enjoy yourselves. Come sledding and have some fun in the Southern California sun. Oh. You guys aren't going to believe this, but I just had three double cheeseburgers, large fries from McDonald's. I ate three double cheeseburgers, you guys. There's something really wrong with me. You guys don't have to agree. Now we're going to turn left here. We're going to avoid all these people and we're going to get over by the village, okay? Depending on traffic, we might not go into the village. The La village. But we're going to try and go through the village. Woohoo! Oh yeah, getting loose. So much fun, you guys. It is so much fun driving in these conditions. Especially when you have that confidence behind you. But I want you guys to know that I used to practice all the time in the empty parking lots at night 
the resort lots because I could get up to the speed limits of like our main roads in town, which are 40 miles an hour. I could get up and then lose control intentionally and regain control and just do that over and over again. You guys will be very surprised, but it'll only take you just a couple minutes to get used to it. It's pretty cool and it's pretty fun and it's, it's, it's good to have that tool in your pocket. I know it seems like a waste of gas, but it's also a little bit fun, you guys. So I think you might enjoy it. I forgot to put my rain axe on. You know why? Because my memory is horrible. Let's take a look at the lake. There's all this traffic there you see going through Big Bear Lake, all the red. We're just going to the side. See ya. See ya. See ya. So anybody have, have any questions about anything, please, please never hesitate to ask. I really do try to respond in a very timely fashion. I want you guys to get the best information and the most timely information. Once again, for road conditions, I want you guys to call 800 Caltrans and it's an automated system and it should take you a minute or two at the most to get all the information you need for the highway you choose to travel. Secondly, you can also get the app. You can download the Caltrans app or just another um, when you hit Caltrans for uh, roads, road conditions on your in the app library, um, the next couple that that show up are free apps that pretty much do the same thing. So you might want to check those out because I know the Caltrans app costs money, which is pretty lame, but it does. So that's why I suggest you call the number eight hundred Caltrans. <laughs> yeah guys from this point on we could get a foot more of snow before morning just from this point on 4 30 p.m it's 32 degrees again until morning so guys wouldn't that be spectaculoso if we can pull that off That would be insane. I really want you guys to try to get up here. Hey honey, I just checked the weather report again and I'm actually confident in this one because of the radar. Before morning time, we could get a foot of snow from this part of the system. So please, 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 if you can get your work done tonight or as soon as you possibly can, so you don't get stuck. If I feel it's gonna to be too dangerous for you, I'm gonna tell you to come home, okay, baby? I don't want you driving in those conditions. You are the best thing that's ever happened to me. I love you, I'll talk to you soon. Bye, baby. Okay, look at the village, there's all this traffic. It's all this traffic, so we're not gonna go in the village. We're gonna go out. Oh no, that truck's sliding backwards, oh no. Oh wait, no, he's, he's just being super nice. Yeah, guys, you'll get some really nice people up here who are extra patient, more than I could ever be. But I always tell you guys, you guys changed who I am. If you go back to these videos over the past, like six years ago, seven years ago, maybe even eight years ago, like I was cussing at all the drivers. I, every other word out of my mouth was a horrible word. Um, I was just not cool. So um, I really thank you guys for changing me. And as I said, it's because of all the constructive criticism that you guys gave me. No parking anytime, but people pull over and put on their chains at the no parking anytime signs all the time. That's so frustrating. See him be nice letting this guy back up just like just like we should. It says the vehicle has moved ahead of me. That is so cool. I really love that. And guys, if I'm kind of weird, you know, it's it's because I have so much excitement about this weather. Um, as you guys know, I would much rather live in Mammoth or bring that type of weather down here so I can stay in Big Bear. 
because this is my new home. I can't believe I've built a life here. It's just crazy. I moved up here to die eight years ago. I'll get into that story someday <clears throat> again. But yeah, so back to the weather. Um, yeah, this is looking pretty darn good for us, you guys. Let me get back to the app. I really need to go to the post office and grab something, but I don't want to be stuck in this traffic at all. So we're just going to hang a Roscoe. And then we're going to take the side streets once we get to Taco Bell on the other side to show you guys how to get past Moon Ridge on the other side. I want you guys to never have to deal with any of this traffic. You guys are so nice to me. So yeah, check it out again though. Look at that, look at that. It's just gonna get heavier and heavier while we're on this drive. I am so excited. <clears throat> so we're gonna turn left here on Knight Avenue, K-N-I-G-H-T Avenue. And because there's people. Okay, we can do this here. Well, we got this, you guys. We got this. These are all people returning skis and sleds and stuff, or skis and snowboards and stuff like that. I would suggest, just to save you guys time, rent everything at, at the resort itself, not... I mean, of course, I want you to support these people too, but just at the resort would be your best bet. Just to kill a bunch of birds with one stone. All right. What's up, Taco Bell? How you doing? There's two dogs in the middle of the street. I hope they get off the street. Poor little puppies. So yes, guys, once again, we are on Knight Avenue. Knight spelled K-N-I-G-H-T. And real quick, I click the winter storm warning button just to see if it's changed at all. I'm going to focus on the road so you guys can try and read that. There's no one behind me, so we're not holding anybody up. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. I know I went through that quickly, but... <clears throat> Those of you coming up here, please have your tire chains with you. It's better to be safe than sorry. We do not want anything to happen to you guys. Um, I know it's a pain in the butt. If you have to end up putting on the chains, trust me. Well, I've, I wouldn't know <laughs> because I don't follow my own advice. In the eight years I've lived here, I've never put on chains. and But I've always put on snow tires and I drive. I've been in three plus feet of snow in, in my vehicles without any tire chains and just charging. I, I mean, hauling some serious butt, um, creating my own path and trail on the road. It's guys, it's so much fun. It's just a different experience. It really is. It's so much fun. So, uh, but I do suggest each and every single one of you, even if you have a lot of confidence, bring your tire chains just in case. And the chain control people will most likely make you put on chains, even if you have the best four wheel drive vehicle in the world. With, if you don't have snow tires with that best four-wheel drive vehicle or all-wheel drive vehicle, they will they will make you put on tire chains. Um, what they say is four-wheel drive and all-wheel drive with snow tires, okay. But the other vehicles, like if you have all-terrain tires or all-season tires, it's still not rated good enough for what they need you to be on on the snow to feel that you'll be safe. And they're just looking out for you guys, but I know it's a real pain in the buttocks. Here, we're just gonna go straight. Then we'll turn left up here. I knew no, I knew no one would go this way. So once again, just play it as safe as you guys can. Also, I always suggest that you guys, <clears throat> in conditions like this and worse, bring a few days worth of food to keep in your car, bring a bunch of warm blankets, bring some, some, some extra warm clothes, always fill up your gas tank at the bottom of the mountain guys before you come up fill it to the top tap tap that bad boy off um, and then let a couple people know when to expect to hear from you and then make sure you let those people know when you arrive safely um, the reason I say all that is because in the bad conditions up here you guys we will have a lot of people and it'll take AAA sometimes more than 24 hours to get to you 
That's no joke. I've been told that before by AAA when I was trying to help someone um, that they wouldn't be able to get to us until the next day in the afternoon. So that's why you want to have a full tank of gas, extra food and water in the car, have enough for about three days to a week. It's always good to, to do some overkill, guys, instead of uh, cutting it close or cutting it short. But if you have to stay in your car, you want to be prepared. Coming up to Garston. Garston. Hello, Garston. All right, here we go. We are on Garston. So if you stay on Garston across Big Bear Boulevard, Garston turns into Moon Ridge. One of our major thoroughfares through town. So we're going to hang a left here on Big Bear Boulevard instead of do what we typically do, which is go straight. We usually go straight here to get onto Moon Ridge, but we're going to kind of take some more of the back roads. I really love showing you guys this stuff because I know I wish I would have known this stuff when we used to come visit as a youngster. I know the windshield wiper's annoying, just like me, I know. But I talk to you guys as if you're here with me. It really feels like when I hit the record button, you guys are sitting right next to me, and it feels really good. Thank you guys again, as always, for all the beautiful support, all the love you show me. You guys really treat me so well. So many beautiful comments. Traffic in town is a nightmare right now. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to have to do this here. We're going to turn right onto Fox Farm, which is not this street. This is Catalina. We're going to turn right on Fox Farm and enjoy Fox Farm for a minute. But everywhere we're heading... Well, the grocery stores are just right up here, about a block and a half on the right and left-hand side. But we're just, once again, taking a little tour just to show you guys what parts of Big Bear Lake are looking, at, looking like. And Big Bear Lake is the part of town that gets the most snow. And the further you go towards the Big Bear Dam, the more snow you will get. Those of you who don't like to have as much snow, but you like to vacation up here, you want to try and find an Airbnb in, uh, in, in Big Bear City. Whoa. So these guys are coming from Bear Mountain, I guarantee you, taking the back route because of all the traffic. See, they're smart like us. But yeah, so the Baldwin Lake side of town over at the end of Big Bear City, minimal amounts of snow. We'll be heading out there probably later on tonight when it starts to really snow heavy. We'll do a full valley tour for you guys. 
Hopefully there aren't going to be that many people on the road. Hey, Bob, did you get out okay, bro? Let me know because I can rush back and help you get out. getting to the part of the evening time where the light that this camera uses just our natural light looks so good from the iPhone it's just so beautiful okay 31 degrees 4:45 p.m. Choking. I start slowing down way behind this guy because this is a lot steeper going down than it looks. So I'm gonna show you guys a little kind of a back back way to get over by Bear. You gotta deal with one road that's really scary, but we're gonna do it. I'm gonna do it for you guys. Wish me luck that nothing happens, but we're gonna do it. So we turn left here on Vine, and then you turn right on Lucerne. These are a couple little steep hills too, but what we're really concerned about is where we're going to be turning right over here. And I need to like kind of look down the hill before we start going because sometimes you'll get people who, who just get so scared and they're sliding and they'll stop in the middle of the road and then no one back of them can stop either and it's just bang, bang, bang. Is there somebody down there? Yeah, cars are struggling. Look, look. You know, we're we're gonna keep. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, this is gonna be a struggle. I'm a little nervous, especially with all these people here driving up and stopping in the middle of the road. Oh my gosh, guys. Please wish me luck. Worst case, we'll slide into the side now. But we're gonna let go of the gas a little bit and pump, barely pump the brakes. Pump, 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 pump. Look at Nikki go. Pump, 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 pump. Over all this snow. See, that guy didn't stop at that stop sign. That's what happened. You get tools left and right up here like that. Guarantee you, he was a local too. I get rolled. All right, so we're gonna turn left here and head to a shortcut to get to Bear Mountain. It's not really a shortcut, but it's just the back roads. So we're gonna turn here. This is Silvertip. The further we go this way, guys, the more snow we will come into. So that's a nice, it's a nice, I like. And I apologize about getting 
frustrated, but that guy ran right through the stop sign without even, and how I used to be, as I said, guys, years ago, oh my gosh, I'd still be cussing. I'd still be cussing. So thank you guys again for changing how I behave and turning me into a real man instead of someone who embarrasses himself with the way I speak. I love you guys with all my heart and I will do anything I can for you guys. This is gorgeous in here. There's about three and a half inches over here, guys, maybe four inches. And we got another foot coming overnight. So fingers crossed that it happens. Yeah, look at all the snow on the trees. Oh my gosh, I love it. All right, so this is Moon Ridge Road that we're about to come across on. There's nobody coming this way, but there is somebody in front of us here. So we'll see. Here we go. Oh, that guy's sliding out. Oh, he's he's done. Wow, guys, he slid right into the freaking snowbank right behind us. He's fine. He just he hit it and just drove off. But that's, guys, you can't be driving that fast right here. Oh, shoot. Looks like this guy may have just gotten hit right here or something because look, he's got a big old dent in the door. I, I hope they're okay. I hope they're okay. Oh, it's an accident with a truck right here. Guys, it's not you guys who you need to be worried about. It's the other drivers. You need to drive in these conditions as if you're riding a motorcycle. I'm not kidding. This is like the worst time for me to come to bear. But yeah, that was crazy seeing that guy slide into the snow berm. At least it's snow berms, you guys. So you guys will survive it, but it'll still damage the car. I don't want any issues with you guys. I want you guys to just have fun. Don't be in a hurry. It's the worst thing you can do up here in these conditions is be in a hurry. I'm always in a hurry. So I've been very lucky in these conditions that I haven't crashed yet. And I'll only drive much faster when there aren't many people out. When I start to come up around people, I slow it down big time. So what we're gonna do here is just kill a little more time, go up Lassen up to the one of the employee parking lot areas at the top of Bear, or at the top of the, um, uh, the newbie run. Even though this is a rough road to travel coming down. You know what? I think we're just going to turn around here so I don't have to deal with it. My old friend Chris Young used to live right here in that house. Right across from the freaking resort. I miss him a lot. I miss you, Chris. I know you watch the channel still, bro. I miss you a lot, bro. You were a real pleasure to have in my life down here. There's the, the resort right on the other side of these houses. Can you imagine living right there? Oh, that would be awesome. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. You guys, it really is so pretty. There's no traffic up there. Freaking awesome, look at this. Look at this. There's still a ton of cars in the parking lot. Roll down the window, we get blasted by snow. But yeah, guys, look at this. If we can see. Almost dropped the phone. Oh, it's so pretty. Guys, I love this place so much. turn left here and get back onto club view and go up to the top you will hit a free sledding area there we go the golf course
course is right here to the right. I told you guys we we see lots of snowmen being made on that golf course and it's just makes my heart so warm to see that. Oh my gosh, look at all the snow falling, guys. And earlier, I've, I showed you guys one of the shortcuts here, coming back from Bear. With all this traffic here, this is when it's gonna be useful, you guys. So the very, not the very first left, but the, uh, once you get kind of out of this little neighborhood with all the homes on the right, you'll be coming to a street called Willow. And you're gonna to wanna to make your left hand turn there. It's across from the golf course's driving range parking lot. And then you can avoid all these people. And we're gonna take Switzerland today. Golf course, love it. Especially when it's all white. Just oh man, guys, this is this is heaven. This is heaven on earth right here. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, here we're at Willow. So we're going to turn here and maybe get through. <laughs> It's a winter wonderland, you guys. This is what I've been waiting for. I know those of you in Mammoth and Tahoe, I know you ain't seen nothing until you come up here. I know, trust me, I know, I'm jealous. You don't gotta rub it in. But for us, I'm really happy to see this. And if we get another foot tomorrow, we'll still be nowhere close to what you guys get. <laughs> a foot of snow for Mammoth is considered a dusting nowadays. Look at all these people out here walking around sledding. It's so cool. That is so cool. That's what it's all about, you guys. Spending time with your family and creating memories, you guys. Just got a sad, sad text message. Oh man. I can't believe that. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. That's exactly what I'm worried about, my darling. All right, guys, so we're gonna take Switzerland. Turn left here. No ski area access. Well, it's not true, but it's important that people try to really follow these signs, you guys, because they do it for a reason, to try to keep traffic safe and flowing.
some humongous houses over here, you guys. Humongous on the left and right. I like to focus on, on these ones. Look at this next one right here. We're gonna go by super slowly. There's no one behind us, but look at the size of this place. Look at the size of that place. It's just so nice over here. So this road, Switzerland, you guys, is a little harder to drive, a little rougher, more potholes, steeper up and down. We're on our way up right now. Um, as I said, when you see the no ski area access signs, please, please follow the signs. Um, sometimes, you know, try to get to know the area and then make your decision. But, uh, it's just, they're just trying not to drag a bunch of traffic through the, uh, the neighborhoods. And I understand that and I respect that. But I know you guys will follow the rules. So I just wanted to show you guys so you can decide to follow the rules on your own. Another big massive estate right here. Look at the size of these places. And then look at this steep hill right here. Can you guys tell? It's super, super steep. Here we go. Here we go. So what's the, what's the, what's the scenario? <sighs> like a glove. Oh my gosh, pothole galore. The second time I bottomed out in my new car was right up here. So we're gonna be very careful. I'll show you guys where that happened. It was so loud. Like my butt still hurts from like two weeks ago when that happened. Look at this huge puddle. Oh, whoa, that was super deep. Almost lost my stomach. It, it dropped off so hard. So if we keep going straight, we're gonna run into Snow Summit, you guys. So we're gonna go as far as we can without getting into traffic. This is where I bottomed out right here coming the other direction though so we're gonna go so slow right here so slow A little stream coming out of there all right we made it this far it's still 29 degrees it's 502 p.m. on January 15 2023 I would pull into the parking lot of snow summit you know we're gonna turn down this street because everybody right here is all jacked up right there just stopped in the road putting on chains so we're gonna avoid that at least I hope I don't ever remember going down this street but either way we're just cruising so many cute houses up here, you guys. Then we're going to make a left at the next street and head to where we need to go. The guy was wearing a helmet while driving his car. This is very interesting, my friend. Very, very interesting. Okay, so we're going to take Evergreen to Moon Ridge.
This is a street where you'll again see some massive homes. The ones on the right hand side are my favorite. This one right here is probably my favorite house on the street. From the front, it looks really huge. But it's a very narrow house. Watch, when we pass it, I'll point it down, down the side and you'll see it's just super narrow. Look at that, very narrow. But all of these are massive. I live right across the street in a 400 square foot little cabin that my wife and I are on top of each other the whole time. Yes! Meaning we're close to each other the whole time. Um, let's see here. Oh yeah, some big, big, big homes. Some big homes, homes. You like the big homes, homes? I live right across this little area here. Moon Ridge Road is on the other side of these trees and I live directly across there. And this is Apple's Bed and Breakfast straight ahead, you guys. I've heard good things about it. It's a little pricey, but I've heard good things. And each room is uh, um, themed. And it's kind of an older American history type of a place with the themes. Look at all this traffic here on Moon Ridge. Whoop. And whoop. It's okay, I don't mind staring at Apple's for a minute. Do you guys? I know the pink is pretty pink, but Oh my gosh, we might not ever get across here. Temperature jumped back up to 30 just now, folks. This is where we're at. Moon Ridge, the edge of the ridge. So look, we're gonna go out in front of these guys and we're just gonna haul some butt. We're gonna be good, good, good. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's ride. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for always putting up with me and me being sometimes annoying. I know a lot of you say I'm not, but I know I can be. So thank you guys for putting up with me. Once again, it is beautiful January 15th, 2023 in Big Bear, California. Thank you guys. I love you guys. Any questions you have, send them my way. I got you. I always got you. Peace out, you guys. And I hope everyone has a blessed rest of your night. Of course, I'll be doing another video once we get more accumulation tonight. Peace.